So I'm hanging out in the garage in Sedalia, Virginia with my friends Mark and Allison who have made this absolutely exquisite cider press and they're making tons and tons of beautiful ciders here and I thought it'd be fun to share this innovation with everyone. So I'm pressed a whole bunch of ciders so far this fall making really lovely ciders with uh, wild fermentation Really nice, natural, clean ciders. So step us through a little what this press is all about, if you will. So it's a um, rack and cloth press, which is you have your racks. These are made out of white oak. And they're made out of cloth. And you, you basically fill these with the apple pulp or pumice in a mold and then you layer these racks between them and those get stacked up and this is a really beefy beefy press it's powered by a 20 ton bottle jack and we'll stack this up um, there's eight layers of cheeses and we'll put this on top and squeeze it and this press cost us in materials, somewhere around $400 in terms of the wood and all the fasteners we used. It's built out of uh, sugar maple and ash, two and a half inch by 13 inch. And these are three ply beams. Uh, this is one inch threaded rod. And it's just super simple construction. Again, based on uh, Claude Jolicoeur's um, Cider Maker's Handbook, he has lots of calculations in there for building a press of your own. And so we built this so that we could handle um, a decent amount of cider every season. We figure we could probably press on this in the upwards of five, six hundred to a thousand gallons a season pretty easily on this press. And this, pre this press weeks. might last a couple years? I would reckon <laughs> this press would last over a hundred years. Uh. Unless any major malfunctions happen with the wood, it's um, there's presses similar to this in England. They don't have threaded rod, but they have big wooden beams and steel uprights that are over uh, almost 200 years old, wow. built in the 1840s. So very cool, very simple, and it's super efficient. And the quality of the juice off this press um, just seems to be some of the best. I don't know, there's something about the way it you grind it, press it, it comes off real nice. Well, thank you, you two for sharing the work that you're doing here. Some pretty great stuff. <laughs>